Welcome to the FACE CTS Learning Series, Chapter 2, Environment Setup and Installation on CentOS 7 and Windows 10, Video 4, Environment Setup and CTS GUI, Graphical User Interface, Launch on CentOS 7. In past videos, we have downloaded the CTS and installed prerequisites to support the execution of the CTS on CentOS 7. To extract the CTS, execute tar-xvf and then the file name of the CTS. Extract it to a directory where we have read, write, and executable access. Before execution, we must ensure the terminal's environment variables are set correctly. It is recommended to set permanent environment variables via the terminal startup script at tilde slash dot bash rc. Variables must be defined and exported to the path. Although you may alter bash rc via any file editor, we will be using nano. To add variables, open bash rc and add the following environment variables that are shown on the screen. Then save, exit the current terminal, and start a different terminal. The new terminal will have Java 8 and Qt as a dependency. To determine if the environment variables were set correctly, execute echo dollar sign and then the variable you would like to evaluate. Finally, the current version of Java in the path must be set to Java 8 before running the CTS. Ensure this step is correct by executing java-version. If the Java version that is listed is OpenJDK 1.8, you must change this to JDK 1.8, as OpenJDK does not contain JavaFX, which the CTS GUI uses for its front end. To do this, execute sudo alternatives-config java. When prompted, execute the number corresponding to JDK 1.8 and not open JDK 1.8. Perform the same check for Java C by executing sudo alternatives-config java C. When prompted, Enter the number corresponding to JDK 1.8. To launch the CTS, navigate to the top level directory of the now unzipped CTS and execute python run underscore CTS underscore GUI dot PY. The CTS GUI should launch successfully. Alternatively, you may launch the CTS with a verbose output in the execution terminal by launching the CTS with the dash V flag. This concludes the environment setup and successful launch of the Face Conformance Test Suite version 3.1.0. This also concludes setup and installation for the Conformance Test Suite on Linux, concluding Chapter 2. Chapter 3 will discuss the contents of the user interface for the Face Conformance Test Suite in detail, as well as how to configure a toolchain configuration file and a project configuration file for a Face Unit of Conformance.